All right, we'll start with that because red flag warnings have been issued for those exact areas around the state, everywhere you see in the burnt orange there. So that's going to continue, and it's probably going to remain an issue for the next few days. Now here, uh, we still have the humidity up a bit. Our dew points are sitting in the 30s and 40s, although we have dried out since yesterday. And it's very hot. We've got the low humidities. We have some breezy to gusty winds. And look at the temperatures already. Roswell, Carlsbad are sitting right around that 90 degree mark, 82 in Alamogordo, some 60s and 70s from the four corners down into the southwest. So the forecast for the metro as we go through the day, those high clouds hanging tough, better part of the day, and around 80 for the high. Very pleasant, very much below normal kind of day. We typically get to 90 this time of year, so good 10 degrees below that. Overnight lows tonight, 52 in the valley, 55 in the heights, and tomorrow's highs up to about 83. So another real nice day. We'll start to see the breezes ticking up during the afternoon tomorrow and then into the weekend. But if you look at what's going on, here's one disturbance that's pushing on through. Most of the showers, you can see the thunderstorms are sitting across Colorado back, coming off the mountains, and that's really kind of where they're coming from. There's mountain and dews. I wanted to show you the dew points on this because we do have some 40s in our dew points. Now, yesterday we had 40s and 50s across the entire state, including the metro area. So now we're starting to dry out. Look at the 20s and 30s kind of pushing in from the west. That's going to be the scenario as we go through the next few days. Drier southwest winds that are going to push in through the weekend, not only knock the moisture out of the air and keep things very spotty as far as shower activity, but they also kick the temperatures up. So not only are we going to see uh, a reversal and, and get that real dry feeling again, but we're also going to see the temperatures shooting up into the 90s to near 100 down in the southeast and southwest and in the mid to upper 80s across the metro and up towards Santa Fe. Now, as far as the wind is concerned, uh, we do have some gusts in the 20s and 30s in the southeast right now and back towards Las Cruces and in the southwest. And across northern New Mexico, some teens and some 20s. Even Santa Fe has got an 18 mile an hour gust. Temperatures today for us, though, bouncing back from a cooler yesterday. 78 for Farmington, 81 in Española, 60s and 70s from Taos to Red River, and near 90 already in Tucumcari and Santa Rosa. In the southwest, we're going to see some breezes. We're also going to see temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90. Remember, red flag warnings in effect for the southwest and the southeast. Look at the highs for Roswell, for Carlsbad, for Hobbs today, sitting in the middle 90s and getting even hotter by this weekend. As far as what you can expect in the East Mountains, temperatures for Edgewood in the mid-70s, Moriarty and Estancia mid to upper 70s, and in the metro, nice day, nice afternoon, uh, 81 in Rio Rancho and Corrales. Los Lunas, Boleyn, Bosque Farms are going to sit in the low 80s as well. Santa Fe then 70s and then 80s, and that's the progression into the next few days and into the weekend for Albuquerque. 80 today, 83 tomorrow, and then upper 80s for Saturday and Sunday with a touch of a breeze. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike.